Hey, hi everybody. I'm going to share uh, my experience. I just finished the 21 day process. It's my fourth process since last year. Last, I guess it was September or August, I was um, did my first process, which was water only, and it was really rough. The detox of the mind, body, and spirit for me was especially challenging. I'm in my 50s, had a rough life. <laughs> as many of us have, and um, I'm really grateful that I did that process on water only. And since then, I've done two nine-day processes and just finished another 21-day. Each process got easier because my body is, is like, my body and mind are on board with the process. I have to keep this short. So anyway, uh, all right, so who was I before the, the first process. I was a long time meditator, but still I had a tendency to get triggered by people, to uh, get angry and argumentative and righteous. Um, so I was that way with the facilitator at times. And um, I had to detox all those emotions as well. I've come to a place of more content more and more contentment with my life even though right now I don't have a real strong direction I am pretty much okay with it not thrilled but <laughs> content and uh, I'm much more aware of my habits bad habits that I used to have which I'm trying still trying to break I used to eat uh, in a way where it was not only habitual but I would reward myself or I would eat out of stress, procrastination, um, what else? Just uh, boredom. If like I was bored with what the task I was doing, I would eat, you know? It's just, just as simple as that. So now I'm in a place where I, I don't really have hunger per se. What I do from time to time is have cravings and the difference is with hunger, I notice two things. The stomach is is contracting down to a smaller size. That's one layer of sensation of hunger. And the other layer is detox. The actual sensation of feeling bile dripping from the liver into, I believe it's the duodenum. And that for me causes nausea. So I associate the cramping, the stomach cramping, and the nausea with as hunger. And, and now if I don't eat solids for three or more days, I don't have hunger. Instead, I have cravings. And with the cravings, I just observe them and they go away. If I indulge those cravings, then I suffer. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So I can't say I've reached any kind of enlightenment, uh, but I can say... I am much more aware and once you have awareness you can choose you can choose to go back to the old way or choose to continue the process and it is a process because you can learn as you go or not learn as you go and go back to the old way and either way is your choice it's it's okay so I'm choosing to continue with the process um, and is and plan to eat instead of habitually eat so I'm not sure yet when I'm gonna eat again it's been 21 days of liquid foods different densities experimentation and now my experimentation will be with solid foods like when and where will I eat the next solid meal and hopefully it'll be with friends and special occasions that's kind of the plan I have now so Thank you, Eden Center. Thank you, Nicholas and Rafa for everything and all the people who, who were co-participants in all the processes because I could not have done this without you. So thank you. Love to you all. Bye for now.